so this one right here we got the DIY frame graphic so in the past we showed you guys something a little bit similar but that was on a canvas there's just something about a frame lately that I really like something about it just showcases the image a little bit more this one right here would look kind of weird as a canvas and I think definitely fits better in a frame like it does right here you see all the negative space if it was on a canvas it would look a little too blank in my opinion there are some images that do look better on a canvas but in this case it is definitely for a frame so if you guys are unfamiliar with the process basically you will go on Google search up an image that you guys like make sure it is as HD as possible sometimes you're gonna have to pay for the licensed photo from like a photographer or whatever but it's all good you're gonna be saving a ton of money with this whole process anyways so take that image bring it over to like a Kinko's a Walgreens maybe even a Costco they'll all have like a printing service and you'll have them print the image to whatever size that you want disclaimer though right there is a possibility that it does get flagged as a copyrighted image and they do not print out your image do not like you know throw a hissy fit or anything like that it is their job to deny these type of things so just keep it moving go on to the next door there's gonna be some employee out there that's up gonna let it pass so say you get the image that you want you will basically find a frame that is similar in dimensions if it is a little bit off you could just trim the edges so that it fits the frame perfectly you could definitely be super creative when it comes to the sizing of your image in the framing a lot of people like to play around with it some people are doing like the super small images right in here in the middle and then a huge framing all around the outside at the end of the day it is your preference you know there's no right or wrong or anything it's art at the end of the day and uh art is subjective <laughs> All right, so next item up, a great way to display your higher end sneakers for only 30 bucks each. We got the acrylic boxes. So I really like these. Not only does it protect your higher end sneakers from dust and debris and everything, but it displays them in a really cool way. If you actually look at the design, it is the same design as a sneaker box would be. The quality is actually really nice. It is not plastic at the end of the day. It is acrylic. It does have the rubber inserts at the bottom. So your boxes do stay in place. But overall, you know, you got expensive sneakers. Great way to display them. I keep all my other sneakers right here on the shelf, but for these, gotta keep them in the acrylic boxes. A lot of people always ask about these. All right, so this next thing right here, we're always getting asked about. It could change the entire vibe of your room. We got different types of accent lighting. So one thing I really wanna recommend when it comes to accent lighting is make sure that it is an accent and not the focal point. So one thing I've seen a lot of people do is actually replace the bulb in their lamps with like a purple one or even put LED strips all over their wall and you just have the LED strip be exposed. This is something I would definitely try to stay away from. Kind of like too blatant, kind of gives me carnival vibes, but the products that we're going to be showing you guys today are a little bit more of a subtle way of going about it. All right, so this right here, we got the Gobi Smart Corner Lamp right here for only 99 bucks. I really like this. The possibilities are endless with how you guys can control it. You got this controller right here. You could turn down the warmth or turn up the warmth. You could cool it down. Whatever mood you're trying to go for, you could even dim it down a little bit. And what's really cool is you could actually coordinate it with the music that you're playing in your room. <laughs> So this one right here kind of reminds me of what I said earlier with people putting LED strips blatantly on their wall. You want the light to reflect and hit something to give it that glow. So what we did right here on our Hype Talk set is actually find these baseboards from like a Home Depot or Lowe's and you will actually just put the LED strip right behind it so it shines against the wall. And then right here to give it a little bit of depth, we just put these spacers in between so it has some distance between the wall. A lot of people always comment about this, ask where we got it, but really it was just a simple DIY that you guys could do. Amazon strips were only like 15, 20 bucks, comes with this cool controller right here. You know, they still Amazon at the end of the day. Oh, there we go, there we go. A lot of cool options that you guys can play around with and things that you guys could do, but the biggest thing I wanna get across is make sure you guys spend that extra time and effort to make the light reflect and not just throw up some LED strips that are hanging all over your walls. All right, so next up, we got the Kith Decorative Water Bottles. So these don't necessarily have to be from Kith. There's a lot of cool brands that make these right now. One that really stands out to me is from ALD. They have a lot of tasteful ones that you guys should look into. So my thought process when it comes to these is to show that I'm in a streetwear, I'm in a sneakers because of the branding, but still fitting with the overall vibe of the house. I didn't want it to stick out like a sore thumb. I used to have a ton of bare bricks laying around my old apartment, definitely looked out of place. But with these, you still get that brand recognition and the textures match the overall finishes of the house. Thanks, thanks, thanks. 
So one thing that I've been really noticing lately is a lot of our guests have been gravitating towards these statement books that I have laying around. This one is a Porsche one, 50 years in the making. I also have like a Phil Knight shoe dog one. But basically these are books that you can flip to anywhere in the book and you're gonna get some interesting information right off the bat. A lot of the times it ends up being a conversation starter and just a great way of showcasing what you're into. And as far as pricing goes, all right, you could buy a Porsche book like this from, you know, directly from Porsche, probably gonna be like 250 bucks. But my thing is go to like your home goods, go to your Rosses and everything. And in the book section, they will actually have books like this. I've seen a ton at home goods, all different cars, Ferraris, Porsches, uh, sneakers, a lot of different subjects. And you can find them there for really cheap. I got this Porsche one, I think for like 25 bucks, which is, it bit my tent. Like I was saying, for 25 bucks, steal. Overall, just a great way to fill up some tabletops, add some color to your house. I've even seen people do it with like brands. Uh, they'll have like the Chanel logo right here on the spine. So there's a lot of different usages for these books right here. But yeah, I call these the statement books. All right, so one thing I really wanna recommend are the oil-based scented candles like this one right here. So I used to be huge into, you know, the Glad air fresheners, the plug and plays, they'll smell good, but with this one right here, you're getting way more bang for your buck. You're getting a three in one. You get a candle, you get a scent, and you get a cool looking decor piece in your house. Safety wise, these are much safer than the traditional candles with the wax melting all over the place and everything. You keep all the oil contained right here in a vase. At the end of the day, it is much safer. All right, so there we have it. Make sure you guys look into these right here. We got the oil-based scented candles. All right, guys, I got a confession to make. I never thought it would come down to this, but I am officially a plant dad. All right, so you guys know I used to be the biggest supporter of fake plants, but there's just something about having a live plant in your house that just screams, you know, responsibility. It is not easy taking care of these things right now. You gotta water them day and night. You know, I, I might have to wake up in the middle of the night, throw a little water in them just because they're thirsty, you know? But all jokes aside, it's just something about keeping a live plant healthy inside of your house that is really refreshing. At the end of the day, you gotta upkeep them, you gotta water them talk to them, you know, I'll be talking to them about it sometimes. You can't just throw them in a uh, drawer or anything like that. You guys see the fake plants right here. These these are the old fake plants. They're, they're ready to go in a box, garage sale very soon. But the new thing right here, my new love, plant life. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that video. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that like button. It helps us out a lot. We've left links down below to any of the items that we recommended. Let me know down in the comments below if there are any other things that you guys think should have been in this video or you guys been really enjoying as far as your own decor goes. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.